Do you really need four wheel drive low in a four x four pickup truck? Well, today we're gonna to talk about why GM thinks you don't. What is going on today guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about a subject involving four wheel drive and that is good old four wheel drive low. And the truck behind me here, this 2022 GMC Sierra sparked the interest for this video. Starting in 2019, a good majority of GM trucks, GM 1500 trucks, the Sierra as well as a Silverado did not come with four wheel drive low. Rather, they came with a single speed auto track transfer case with two wheel drive high, four wheel drive high and four wheel drive auto. Some of the higher end models came with what's called terrain mode, which we'll get into later in the video. But the point is a lot of these trucks did not come with four wheel drive low. And I'm generally curious what you guys think of this. Now GM does still offer four wheel drive low in certain trim packages in their 1500s, um, mostly including the off-road packages, the Z71, the Trail Boss, the AT4, um, to name a few, as well as the 6.2 liter engine usually comes with a um, two speed auto track transfer case. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're looking to buy one of these trucks and you want four wheel drive low. Um, but in general, it's a rather bold strategy from GM and they are the first manufacturer to do that. Both Ford and Ram still have four wheel drive low as standard equipment on any four wheel drive pickup truck that you buy from them. So I thought I'd take a quick glance at what four wheel drive low actually does to the drive line and the truck itself, as well as kind of situations when you may actually want to use four wheel drive low. So, I mean, at the heart of it, four wheel drive low is a, an extra gear. It's a low gear behind the transmission in the transfer case that basically um, increases the final drive ratio of your drive line. Um, now, what does exactly does that mean? Well, if you have a final drive ratio of like 30 to one in first gear, and then you put it in four wheel drive low, maybe your final drive is gonna be like 50 to one. So it, it just increases that final drive ratio, um, more or less uh, slowing down the wheel speed. However, increasing the torque delivery to the wheels. So keep in mind when it comes to gearing, speed and torque are inversely proportionate to one another. So if you, um, decrease the speed when it comes to gearing, you're gonna increase the torque as well. And I'm sure you guys, if you've ever put your truck in four wheel drive low, you've noticed you really have to step hard on the pedal to stop the wheels from turning because there's just extra torque being delivered to the wheel. So that is kind of the, the gist of four wheel drive low without getting too mechanical or technical. Um, and there's a variety of benefits and situations when that is very advantageous. So probably by far the number one situation where anyone um, with a truck uses four wheel drive low is when you are off road. And there's good reason for that. Um, as we mentioned, four wheel drive low, it's going to um, slow the turn of your wheels as well as increase control power and torque to the wheels. So let's say you're in this uh, a, a technical situation. You don't want too much wheel slip, um, but you want to have control of the wheels as well. So four wheel drive low, you don't have to put that much throttle input because there's so much torque. It'll just slowly keep those wheels turning over any technical situation you're off road. Um, so that is why a vast majority of people prefer being in four wheel drive low when off road because you just get so much more control, torque, power, delivery to those wheels without having to touch the throttle. Another situation where I feel like a lot of people use four wheel drive low is when you are actually towing. Now, not towing down the road, but maybe if you're backing up a trailer or a heavy trailer up a driveway, maybe you're in a little bit of a, a slippery spot and you're just trying to technically move the trailer. Four wheel drive low is wonderful for that because obviously we have a load behind the truck and four wheel drive low, as we mentioned, increases torque to the wheels and control. So when you're pushing a heavy load, being in four wheel drive low just gives you so much more control of your truck, um, especially when you maybe you're backing in a trailer into a, in a tight spot with some slippery terrain there. Um, so those are the two reasons why I personally have used four wheel drive low in the past. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have used four wheel drive low um, for very similar situations as well. Now, in fairness with my own truck, I do rarely end up using four wheel drive low, but when I need to use it, it is a wonderful thing to have. It's a game changer. I think that's what GM is thinking that most people don't really use four wheel drive low, especially in a 1500 platform. And I don't necessarily think they're wrong in that thinking. 
Um, I would probably bet maybe 50% of people who own, let's say a 1500 truck, have never used four wheel drive low in the lifetime of the truck. I could be wrong, but I, but I feel like there's a good majority of people who just have never used four wheel drive low and, ha and have never had a use for it. Now to continue sort of playing devil's advocate here, I think a lot of new people coming to the 1500 pickup truck segment are folks that used to drive an all wheel drive SUV, maybe a minivan, because I think these 1500 pickup trucks are becoming the new family hauler. Um, you know, take your kids to soccer, take your kids to hockey, put all the hockey bags in the back, haul your kids around. Um, and you know, that's great. These trucks are, are wonderful for that, but I don't think these trucks are necessarily being used as work vehicles as they once were intended to be used. So I think that's where GM's coming from. Um, making four wheel drive low only an option on their off-road trim levels for these trucks. However, I mean, to me, what makes a four wheel drive pickup truck different than let's say an all wheel drive SUV is the fact that it comes with four wheel drive low. It is a wonderful thing to have when you need it. So, I mean, I understand where GM's coming from. I just don't necessarily like it. Additionally, I don't like how GM kind of implemented eliminating four wheel drive low because I don't think they really made an announcement. They kind of just shoot it away. And I didn't know, I didn't know probably till 2021 that these pickup trucks were no longer coming with four wheel drive low. Um, and I can imagine there was a lot of people who probably bought these nice new shiny trucks. I mean, this is an SLT. It's got a nice interior. It's a wonderful truck. Um, and you know, six months later when the guy needs four wheel drive low, he's looking for that button and it's just not there. And he's caught with his pants down going, where the hell is this four wheel drive low button? And it isn't there because it doesn't have it. Another thing that caught my eye was the ability to have four wheel drive low as well as the max trailering package. It seems like they don't go hand in hand. So all the off-road trims, basically you can't get the max trailering package. Um, so it seems like the only trim level you can get both a two speed transfer case with four wheel drive low and the max trailering package is the high country trim level or some trim levels with the 6.2 liter engine. Now, the downside of that is you're gonna be shelling out a good amount of money just to even get to those trim levels or that engine level um, in order to have both of those, you know, somewhat critical things if that's what you need to spec the truck with. And if you're getting the max trailering package and you plan on towing, I don't know, a 10,000, 8,000 pound trailer, I would highly want four wheel drive low, especially in you know the climate I live in Canada. If you are got to back a trailer into a snowy driveway one day and next thing you know, four wheel drive high just isn't cutting it and you're spinning the wheels with that big load behind you. Um, four wheel drive low is critical in that situation and I've been there and you know, you pop in four wheel drive low, makes a world of a difference. All of a sudden the truck can actually move and you back the trailer in with no drama. Now, without that, you find yourself up a creek without a paddle, unfortunately. So just another thing to keep your eye on if you're looking at buying one of these trucks. The other thing I wanna talk about is this terrain mode that GM puts in these trucks to kind of mimic or you know put in as a four wheel drive low substitute. And what they say is it helps improve low speed traction as well as wheel control or wheel slippage. And I mean, realistically, it just kind of changes the throttle response and the shift points. Whereas four wheel drive low is actually a gear on gear drive line change. So there just really isn't that much of a substitute for four wheel drive low. So only time will tell to see if other manufacturers follow suit from GM. But um, I just thought I'd touch on this subject because it is interesting to me if you guys even use your four wheel drive low, if you like it, if you, if you could care less if it's even there. Um, obviously I feel like I do more truck stuff with my truck just because I have a channel and make content. And so it's, you know, it's kind of just what I do, but uh, for the average you know, person who owns a 1500 truck, I'm always curious to see what you guys think about four wheel drive low. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for this week. As always, if you like the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, truck talk, um, towing stuff, all kinds of truck stuff, that seems to be what I do these days and uh, I love it. I don't know what truck we're gonna have on the channel next week, but uh, either way, hopefully we hit the road, do some towing, do some more reviews, all that fun stuff. Um, anyways, enough of me. 
And uh, we'll see you guys on the next freaking video.